You have passed the test, Liu Kei. Man, look, I'm always procrastinating. Fuck it. I'm about to just do this shit right now. I'm always trying to wait for the right time for shit to be right for me to do it, but it's not gonna ever be right. So look, sure like this. What's up? Life of Lou right here, you dig? And today I wanna talk about some stuff. I wanna talk about how I'm noticing that all my black people, specifically black people that came out of who, 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 who's descendants from slaves We out here really You know Getting mature On so many different levels And Like I'm just I'm amazed and I'm happy Like we getting on cold About shit That really matters Like on a As far as it, it affecting us On a collective base so now I gotta get my shouts outs to my dog Tariq Nasheed. We got Professor Black Truth. We got uh, the Black Authority, Jason Black. We also got Yvette Carnell and my man's Tone Talks out here handling business. Handling big business. And I'm seeing how, like, there's like a real grassroots movement. Like, this is really us coming up with this like we like fuck y'all little politicians that y'all put in front of us like we like nah we need some real stuff we need some real representation like I'm talking about we basically just creating a boundary around ourselves and I feel like we never really done that before as far as being a black person like we just always been trained to be like you know like just to be so loving like you know we, we so moral we one of the, we like like we like the most moralist people on the planet, and people know that, and they take advantage of that shit. And that's just sad, but that's the type of people we are. And honestly, that was our downfall, coming from historic, coming from a historic perspective. Like you know, we help people out, and all everybody ever do was just stab us in the back, and like niggas are literally stab us in the back, kill us, and take our shit, dog. So now. Nah, we getting smart to like really put this in a logical format to be presented to people to be presented to people to explain what we talking about as far as we being american descendants of slaves or ados so i know this shit is real because they really out here talking about we bots because we coming with these facts we russian bots <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I mean, I heard about these because, like, one time, I mean, I be kind of going ham on my Instagram. Follow my Instagram at Lou Kane Main. You know what I'm saying? But on my Instagram, like a couple of months ago, when that shit happened with the um, with the um, with the Native American man, they were you know down there in D.C. and the little white, you know, the little fucking white boys and shit was was trolling them and all that kind of stuff. But on Instagram, the root, you know what I'm saying? They put some shit on the on the Instagram, like equating that situation and trying to compare that to what our ancestors did as far as the civil rights is concerned. Because black people, the, the like the origins of the civil rights was Negroes, not fucking you know like that shit was grassroots people. We did have you know. Um, people who came in from other places, like Doctor—I mean, I want to say Doctor, like Mar like um, Marcus Garvey and Malcolm X and all that. Like, they, like Malcolm X's parents were immigrants, and Marcus Garvey was an immigrant. But during those times, those people had to live amongst us, so like they really shared our struggle. Like these days, a lot of the foreign black people come over here, and like I said, they got some solid ones, but and, but they do have some ones that just be out here, you know. Talking bad about you and like you know undermining you like representing you like you don't have our struggles so you really can't represent us but like on a national scale these people are representing us so we really have people um coming to the forefront like nah we gotta represent ourselves like all this shit over like y'all not about to just keep on finessing and just you know we getting all this trickle down stuff we getting you know 
health care for all and that's gonna help us out because you know we helping everybody like no we got people in this bit talking specific game and it's not game it's specific facts historical facts undeniable unrefutable documentations that proves that we owe shit from this country, the, which is the richest country in the damn world, that our damn people, who well, I'm talking about our, I'm talking about descendants of slaves, we built this shit and we never get our compensation. Everybody always wanna wonder why, um, you know, we always got the ghettos and just all this fucked up shit. We're like, why our education so fucked up? It's because that shit is specifically targeted towards us. Like, nothing don't happen for no reason. Like, you know what I'm saying? But nah, we don't cool now. Like, they tried that shit with Kamala Harris. Niggas is like, nah, fuck that. Cause Kamala ain't talking about none of the shit that we need. Now she didn't change back to being a, um, a, a Indian American when she announced her day on Martin Luther King thing. She about to get like that black vote, but you got a whole conservative agenda, a conservative white person agenda. You ain't talking about nothing for black people, but you're trying to pander to us on these days to try to get us to vote for you. Like, nah, that shit not gonna work no more. That shit happened with, um, that shit happened with Obama. You know what I'm saying? And niggas like, that shit not about to happen no more. Like, like I always say, bro, I be having like discussions with people and I be like, I don't fuck with Obama. And you know what I'm saying? People be getting mad, but I always, you know, I always come behind that with, don't get it twisted. Just because I say I don't fuck with Obama don't mean I don't respect him. You know, I respect him just because, you know, I know the struggle of being a black man, even though he's not the black person that we think that he is. You know what I'm saying? Just like how we, you know, second guessing Kamala and all this kind of stuff, like fact checking her. We didn't do that for Obama. Kamala Harris thinking that she about to be the new Obama. She thinks she about to get that same wave. But no, because it's like, dog, we came out in historical numbers. And we ain't get no historical um, change. We ain't get no nothing historical for black people. We came out and voted historical. But you know who did get historical laws put in place? The LGBT people. The, uh, you know what I'm saying? The, the immigrants and all that kind of shit. Like, we came out and put you in that bit and you ain't even much holding us down for nothing, bro. And it's like, nah, dog. So we like, screw all that. If you ain't talking about doing nothing for us, we ain't doing nothing for you. And it seems like people are getting upset at that, but it's like, we understand these politics. Like, I'm a regular little nigga out of New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? Two black parents, you know what I'm saying? I'm married. I got my wife and my daughter and all that shit. We all come from damn slaves. And, you know, we kind of, I ain't going to say we well off because me and my wife, we, you know, we got a house and all that. We got a mortgage, you know what I'm saying? But we're not paying the rent. But, nigga, you know, all that shit is still the same and all that. But we trying to invest into ourselves to where we could be able to have this real estate to pass down to my my daughter. You know what I'm saying? My other children that's not here yet. But, I don't know, man. I just been trying to do this YouTube shit. And I don't be knowing when the right time. So, I was like, fuck it. I'm about to just, just talk on that bitch and vent, man. If you fuck with me, fuck with it. Give me a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Follow your boy back, uh, leave comment, let me know what you think about this shit. Um, you know, I'm going to be posting more shit like this, you know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all, y'all be safe, you know what I'm saying? Have good days, whatever time y'all seeing this, but just know that black people are African American, descendants of slaves. We are just being self you know, we trying to just worry about ourselves right now, bro. That's all. And people got to respect that shit, though. People just got to respect that shit, man.